Good morning, and welcome to St. Mary's Daily Prayer. Today is Wednesday, October 21st, 2020, the 29th week in Ordinary Time. And my name is Kevin DePass. Our readings today are taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians and the Gospel according to Luke. Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the God of all consolation, who has shown us his great mercy. Blessed be God forever. And let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit. Namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation, as I have written briefly earlier. When you read this, you can understand my insight into the mystery of Christ, which was not made known to human beings in other generations, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. Of this, I became a minister by the gift of God's grace that was granted me in accord with the exercise of his power. To me, the very least of all the holy ones, this grace was given to preach to the Gentiles the inscrutable riches of Christ and to bring to light all what is the plan of the mystery hidden from ages past in God who created all things so that the manifold wisdom of God might now be made known through the church to the principalities and authorities in the heavens. This was according to the eternal purpose that he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness of speech and confidence of access through faith in him. The word of the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The responsorial psalm, you will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. God indeed is my savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord. And he has been my savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name, among the nations make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. You will draw joyfully from the springs of salvation. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour when the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also 
must be prepared. For at any hour you do not expect, the Son of Man will come. Then Peter said, Lord, is the parable meant for us or for everyone? And the Lord replied, Who then is the faithful and prudent steward, whom the master will put in charge of his servants to distribute the food allowance at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master on arrival finds doing so. Truly, I say to you, he will put him in charge of all of his property. But if that servant says to himself, my master is delayed in coming and begins to beat the men servants and the maid servants to eat and drink and get drunk, then the servant's master will come on an unexpected day and at an unknown hour and will punish the, the servant severely and assign him a place with the unfaithful. That servant who knows his master's will, but did not make preparation, nor act in accord with his will, shall be beaten severely. And the servant who is ignorant of his master's will, but acted in a way deserving of a serving of a served beating, shall be beaten only lightly. Much will be required of the person entrusted with much, and still much will be demanded of a person entrusted with more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our reflection today, when a man has had a great deal given him, a great deal will be demanded of him. When a man has a great deal given to him on trust, even more will be expected of him. I reflect in wonder and gratitude and all that I have been given and pray for generosity in giving. Let us now bring our cares and concerns to our Heavenly Father. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For our call to stewardship, that we may use our gifts to benefit those who need our help, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the pandemic, that God will guide us to curtail the virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the created world, that we may re promote respect for God's creation and cooperate with God's plan as creation is brought to fulfillment, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who need physical or spiritual healing, that God's gracious gifts will give their bodies and minds comfort and wholeness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who have died, that they may be brought into the eternal peace of God's presence through Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray in confidence to the Father in the words the Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. God of mercy, we thank you for the gift of your Son and the road to redemption paved by his sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. 
Amen. Go in peace.